What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to share with you how to easily create a kids colouring book for KDP. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now in this video I'm going to share with you how to easily create kids colouring books. Now from here I've already started putting this together. Now I recently, last video, made it all about how to get the right dimensions for your books. So before starting anything you should go back and watch that just so you can see how I got here and how we got the dimensions. Now I made that separate no, I made that video separate because otherwise this video would be far too long. So again, if you want to learn how to get the right dimensions for any types of low content book, click right there in the right hand corner so you can go through and watch it. And please note that before creating any type of book, you should always, always have the niche in mind or the book type in mind. So don't go starting to try and create a book if you haven't done the research and you don't know what you want to create. Because again, at this point, you should already have an understanding of what you're going to go ahead and create. For this instance, it's going to be a kid's colouring book. Now, I actually haven't done any research into this because this is just an example of how I would actually go ahead and create a colouring book. So, with that being said, we are going to need a niche. So let's go over to my favourite place, and that is Creative Fabrica. Now, why Creative Fabrica? Well, because I have a membership, I pay every month for it, and I can get all the graphics, all the fonts, and everything that I need to create my books, to create my colouring books. So as we actually don't have a niche in mind, let's just do a quick bit of research to see what niches we can find and then we'll go ahead and actually start creating the book. So from here I'm going to go to graphics. I'm going to click on graphics and then I'm just going to have a quick browse around to see if any niches stand out. Now from here we can see popular this week. We want to go to view all graphics just so we get a lot more options. Now from here let's just have a quick browse around to see what we can see. So we've got jungle, animals, safari, so that could potentially be a niche. Then we have elephants just here. Then we have gnomes and then more animals, flowers. So gnomes, gnomes could work. In fact, let's just go over to Amazon really quick and see if anyone's actually searching for a gnome coloring book. So gnome coloring book. Give that a second. Yep, yeah, that's auto populating so we can see people are actually searching this. If you want to check it out, go through, use the SPT Chrome extension and see if it's actually worth publishing. But for this, we're just going to use this as an example. We can see that people are searching for a gnome coloring book for adults, for kids, for girls. So let's just go ahead and just do a gnome coloring book. Now from here, I just want to find more gnome graphics. So in the search bar, I'm going to type gnome clip art just to see what pops up. Give that a second so we can see there's actually quite a few gnomes some of them looking okay but in fact let's look for gnome svgs now why is that because with an svg we can upload that to canva and we can play around with all the different colors which means we can choose to actually turn the graphics black and white and use them in the coloring book. Now from here we can see we've got some, so I might go check out this seller, this looks okay, but not much that's really popping out to me. So let me try, oh that one looks pretty good, so maybe cat and me is something I can look into. Let's do gnome digital stamps. Now digital stamps is another search term that you can search and it's going to pull up graphics which are black and white. So let's take a look at this and see what pops out. So right off the bat we've got quite a few more ones. I really like this. So let's go through to this. Who are they? Chani Artwork. I think I'm actually subscribed to them. Following designer. Yes I am. 
because they actually have some really cool graphics. So go through and check them out. But from here, what I want to do is filter down all of their results just to gnomes. So in here, I'm going to type in gnome and now see what comes up. So now we have quite a few more. So this actually looks like a really, really great seller. So why is that? Because we have the SVG option just here, which means hopefully we can modify the SVG files within Canva to create coloring pages. But if we look here, they also have the digital stamps, so we can use both. Now, why is this important? Well, with this, the digital stamps is black and white. We can create the actual inside of the book with this. These are SVGs, which mean we can modify them and still create the book or the interior with these files as well. But because they're colored, we can also create the front cover. So we could have this on the front cover and then this on the interior. So let's go ahead and actually download these two. So let's go here. Just give that a second as well. I don't think I've downloaded these in the past. No, I haven't. So let's click download on that one. And then let's click download on this one as well. And then we're going to go over to Canva, upload the graphics and then start creating the inside of the book. So now let's go back over to here. Let's just create a folder. So I'm going to go to folders, create new, and then let's just put example. So I know to delete it. So example, let's go to create folder. And there we go. Now from here, let's go and extract those folders. So let's find them here. Let's extract this one like so just give that a second these are the svg graphics so let's take a look we have the png and the svg so let's take the svg we want to take all of these now i'm just going to upload that into canva now let's go back to here let's go back to the other one that was the svg so this is the one that we now want let's just delete a couple of these so they don't get mixed up like so there we go. So it was this one, copy gnomes, digital stamps. Let's just extract this one as well. Give that two seconds. And then we have the PNGs, the JPEGs, and the EPS as well. So we want the PNG just here. And now we have some graphics that we can start creating our book around. So now let me just take all of these and go and put that into the folder as well. And now I'm just going to pause the video while that all loads up, just to keep it a little bit shorter. So there we go. We now have all the graphics loaded up into Canva, and now I could go ahead and start creating a book. Now, one thing I want to talk about real quick is SVGs, because not every SVG that you upload has the option to modify. Now, as you can see right here on the left-hand corner, we can change the colors on these graphics because they're an SVG. So now, if I didn't have these um, digital stamps up here, and if I only found SVGs, I could use these SVGs to actually create coloring pages because we can change the color. So now, if we go on here, change all of this to white, like so, we now have, let's change that to gray, or maybe even black, we now have a coloring in image. Do you see how simple that is? Really, really simple. So if you want to create coloring books, always remember when you're on Creative Fabrica, let's go to this one, to look for SVGs because the SVGs allows us to modify these graphics to actually make books. Now you can do it within Canva. There's also a free software you can use called Gravit Designer, where you can upload your SVGs into there for free and modify them and then use them later on in a book. But I like doing it this way. This way is just really, really simple. Now, before we actually go ahead and create a couple of coloring in pages, I just want to note something really quick, and that is we just launched our simple coloring books course separate from the LCB Vault. So this course you do actually get within the LCB Vault. So if you are a member there, go and check it out. But you can also purchase separate if the LCB Vault is a little bit pricey. Now, for this week, 
it's only £19.99. So this is going to end on the 12th of April. So if you want to get in at a really low point, come and check it out. There is a link in the description below. And I cover everything I now know about creating coloring books. As you can see, all the modules are just here. So go through and have a little look if you're interested in creating coloring books and you want to just learn more about the process. Anyway, back to here. So let's just click on a few of these for a minute. I want to see if they're all available to actually change. We can see that they are so far up in the left hand corner. Let's do a gnome. Let's see if a gnome is. So no, that's what I mean. So some SVGs you can't modify. This is a great example because this one is not allowing us. But if we take one of these, this is allowing us. So again, it's a really great idea if you can to get both types, digital stamps and SVGs. Now, let's just delete that. Let's delete this. And let me show you how I would actually create or start creating the coloring book. Now, most people, what they're going to do is just do this. So they're going to grab one of these. They're going to put that on. They're going to make that big. And then they're going to call that their coloring page. Well, that's a no-no. Never use these graphics like this as is. So you want to use all of these graphics here in combination with other graphics to actually create a coloring page. So let's just do an example for that. Let's use him. Let's maybe, I don't know what that is. What was it? A cookie? I don't know. But anyway, let's put that up here. Maybe something like that. We could have a little coffee as well down here. Now, a great tip is make sure you've got lots of different graphics when creating your books. So if I go to my folders here, then if I click on clip art and SVGs, and then if I go down, nope, that's the wrong one. So let me just go back. Let's go down to here. Oh, coloring page clip art. So in here, I actually have lots of different types of graphics in lots of different niches that are like this. So I can actually use it in combination with these graphics to create a unique coloring page. So that's things like moons, stars, trees, just little miscellaneous objects that I could actually use in combination with these to create my coloring books. So that's how I would actually go ahead and do it. Now let's just go back to that folder and let's do something else. Let's take that away. Let's put that here like so. Maybe make him a little bit bigger. Move that there. Maybe move him over a little bit. Let's make him in front of that bag. So let's push that to the front like so. Maybe move that down and then put something up the top. He's drinking coffee. These are all coffee beans. Oh, so that's coffee related, isn't it? That one. So let's put in fact, let's just keep that bit blank. Let's move this over a little bit by doing this, like so. There we are. And this looks pretty good. Now, with this, I would kind of add more images. But again, this is just an example. And I would spend a lot more time actually creating the interior. Far too many people are trying to create a coloring book really, really quick. And then they wonder why it doesn't sell. It's because they're not good enough to so really spend time on designing a coloring page. Now let's go to the page two, because what I would do is, well, we already did the research into the type of book that we were going to create, or how to get the dimensions. Again, remember to go back and watch that video. Now we come to the realization that we were going to create 50 pages, and it was an 8.5 times 11 size book. So now 50 pages would actually be 25 coloring pages with a blank back. So now I would go through, create one, two. So let's just change this for a second. Let's do this. Let's take something from here. So let's maybe take this one, put him there. And then maybe, what have we got down here? So all practically the same. So with this, this wouldn't be quite enough to actually create a coloring book, a whole coloring book. So again, I would use more graphics to actually create the book. But from here, let's take a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. Let's move him back up to here, like so. Let's move this down, make that bigger. 
Then let's take this coffee cup as well. Maybe put that there, like so. Maybe make him bigger. And there we go. So again, I would spend a lot more time creating these books. This is just a short example showing you how I would actually go about creating these. So now I have two pages. I'd go ahead and do a third. So I would take all that off. Well, that was a little bit too much. Let's do that. Let's do this. Let's take that. Let's just lock that in place. But now I would delete this, go through and then create a third and a fourth and a fifth until I have 25 colouring pages. Then from there, I just duplicate the first one, take away all the graphics, and then I'd duplicate again and push down. And then I'd go through the whole book doing that, so this blank page is on the back of this colouring page. So by doing that, I have 25 colouring pages. By adding the back, which is blank, allows me to have 50 pages book. So I'd have a 50 page colouring book. Then from here, all I would do is go to, once I finished, is go to download, and then I'd click on PDF print, which is just here, click all pages, and then click done, and download. So that's just how simple it is to create a kid's colouring book. Now, please, please remember that never use an image as is. You can if it falls under like POD licensing or anything like that. But what you want to do is use these combinations. Nope, that's wrong. You want to use these graphics in combination with other graphics to actually design a colouring page. Because once you've actually designed a colouring page, the chances of someone else creating exactly the same is literally slim to none. But the chances of someone taking a graphic, slapping it on a page like that, and passing it as a colouring book you're going to find quite a few other people doing that. So please, please remember to use your graphics in combination with other graphics to actually design an interior or a cover. Now for this instance, again, we was just doing this as an example, so you can see just how easy it is to actually create a book, but I would spend a lot more time on this creating the interior. I'd just start moving things around, making stuff bigger, moving it over, and so on until I've actually designed a colouring in page. So please, please remember that because that alone is very, very important. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.